So hi, I'm here to talk about Open at RIT's Libre Core. And this is a, in, in some ways, a project that's been going on for a while, and in some ways that is new. And I'm just going to drop right into it, um, assuming they will uh, let me do that. So Open at RIT is uh, Rochester Institute of Technology's brand spanking new open programs office. So I don't use the word open source programs office because I don't want to scare away people who do open hardware, open data, open science, open, open, open. And I try to refer to the, all of that stuff as open work. So we're uh, created in August to help leverage open work across campus and out to the world. And we've got some memberships and some various organizations, OSPO++, oops, that was a bad thing. Um, OSPO++ is a group trying to leverage uh, this concept into academia and municipalities. We are part of the to-do group and the chaos community value working group, which are open source program office related as far as the to-do group goes and chaos community value working group is around building solid open communities and we're part of the linux foundation as well not funded by them but members thereof and all of this began roughly 12 years ago when i started teaching students to build um, math and science games for one laptop per child and we started spinning up courses in open source that grew to a full minor, uh, it grew to experiential education work, and it grew to our humanitarian co-op program. Co-op is what cooperative education universities call internships. And if you're a cooperative education university, your students must have full-time paid work to graduate. And so we had built this kind of ecosystem in which students could kind of engage with open through courses, through a project that we might support, through scholarship, through getting an internship, through a hackathon, and then kind of work their way through the system, um, however it suited them. Um, the Libre Core piece started off as um, my trying to do outreach and build opportunities for students to have co-ops with humanitarian NGOs. So we worked with a bunch of different folks over the years, external projects, primarily not RIT faculty centric projects. The link that's in the title is an article on opensource.com that talks about the work we did over 12 months most recently for UNICEF Innovation Ventures. And, and they picked up a project through the Gates Foundation that we also worked with as well. And this work transitioned over the years from being um, helping people hire a coder to doing mentorship and how to build open communities, build sustainability, go out and do outreach, those types of efforts. Um, two years ago, I was lucky enough to be part of the Ford Foundation's first round of the Critical Digital Infrastructure Program. Yay, both Michael and Josh. And the study we did was a case study of PyPI, which is a critical component of the Python programming language community. And it was focused heavily on the work product and nowhere near enough on things like communications, recruitment, documentation, community management. Um, and the leadership of the community was so focused on generating lines of code that they developed this kind of overall vibe within the community that even if they had people who were dedicated to communications, recruitment, and et cetera, um, giving the project effort and cycles in those areas was stalling the project. Um, and this is not news to anyone who's been in the open source software space. It's not uncommon. That's why we have uh, studies like Roads and Bridges and books like Working in Public to kind of bring these types of issues to light as well. Um, but in doing the the digital critical digital infrastructure program. Uh, I also met Josh Greenberg, who's been mentioned here since Sloan is one of the co-funders of that particular effort. And after meeting Josh, we started talking about this Libre Core effort that had been working with NGOs that were external. And 
Sloan's desire to see academia be more of an equal contributor and citizen to open source. They feel that often academia is a, a taker and not a, an equal quality citizen. Um, and we also have within academic open source challenges most, most often surfaced in places like the R and Drupal communities where there are projects that get orphaned as soon as someone completes their PhD and then they don't have the stability. They didn't build the community around them. And faculty who are researchers are often focused on the work product. They don't have the time, the resources, or the skill set to do the things you need to build community for impact translation and sustainability. So we, uh, we've been funded by Sloan to run a team for the next two years with a full-time staffer and a rotating band of student workers to help us provide support to internal projects to help them address those shortfalls. And a great byproduct of that is it also helps build the next generation of community managers. Once they graduate, we have students who have been, uh, who will be able to help fix these problems full-time We've been successful with some of our students in the humanitarian space, moving on to that kind of work after they graduate, and this will help leverage that. We don't insist that the projects that are being supported by the LibreCore team be native to RIT. Um, if an RIT faculty member or staff member is an active contributor to that project, then we can help support their work in there. So it's kind of a broader outreach, but through RIT or faculty or staff. Um, we'll be running a CFP process for faculty and staff to try to go ahead and, and acquire our services. These services might be offered for a month if that's what needed. They might be offered for the duration of semester. It might be a, a staged effort over multiple years. Um, so that's one way they can get our support. Um, another way to do that would be to start thinking about using a team like this as part of your sustainability plan when you write your grant proposal, much as you would write in, you know, an external evaluator at the end with a percentage of the grant money is going to affect this since funders both governmental and private want to know what your sustainability plan is, how is your open research or open project going to go beyond the initial funding. This is one way to point to how you're going to get support to make sure you've got legs to go on for the next round. Um, I would like to hear from anybody who thinks this is interesting for any reason. Um, everything we do as soon as I get my team hired and uh, running next semester is gonna be out in the open. I'm a release early, release often kind of person and all of the stuff we develop in terms of how we try to make this effort run should be replicable in other schools and other organizations. And we'd like to see that happen. Um, so get in touch if you wanna talk about this idea uh, in the jobs channel and on this link, you'll also find the currently open position for my staff members. So if you're looking to get a job doing this kind of work, I would love to talk to you. And I think I talked fast enough, so I will look at questions in the chat. Thanks.